Hi, Pep. Hi. Um, there's been a lot of reflection on what happened on Tuesday night. I just wondered how you are about it, whether there was still a feeling of maybe unfairness or injustice in the result and some of the events that happened around the game. No, no, no. What I said, what I said, uh, and good morning to everybody. What I said after the game, congratulations to Liverpool. So when, when they won 5-1 in the two games, you cannot say anything else that I congratulate them. So, but my feeling is the same I had after the game. In terms of what we have done, so I am one of the. So the club, this club is absolutely amazing. So in all terms, so the people working here and and the players show me this week. You know, the result was not good. They show me something I didn't expect in the way, the courage, the the way we want to play, the way we want to try. So how we react in Anfield with the two zero, how we played against 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 United at home. So the first half was outstanding. So we could close absolutely everything and after you know the quality for uh, for United players, the manager, okay can happen, but how we react, our first half there, we cannot forget we scored two goals, legal goals against United against uh, Liverpool. We scored two legal goals in two games. So and one of their goals is on our side. So in this kind of situation, today we are talking about Juventus Madrid is goal is penalty or not penalty. So in that competition, in that competition, uh, counts a lot. We saw every weekend in the 80 finals, quarter finals, semi finals, the little details, the influence is so so big, because the quality of the teams is so so big, and uh, and sometimes it's what it is. So, but. We, we make a, a better competition than last season in the Champions League and we try and come back next season stronger to do it well. But uh, I don't have the feeling we miss what we want to do or we fail. Uh, we, did it, we did it well, really, really well. How much harder was it, though, with you sat in the stands? I wonder if you thought perhaps you wouldn't do well, it again, I, maybe next time round. Well, I prefer to be with my players so than to be with my chairman. But it's the decision of the referee. And how have the players been in reaction? How have the players been over the last two or three days? Has it been a case of lifting them? Or are they ready to put a performance ah, Of course, it's not easy. So we were a lot of, uh, you know, we were so delighted to try to, to reach semifinals, uh, to win the Premier League. And of course, uh, they are human beings and they are disappointed because we, they did it absolutely everything. So. So in that situation, that is normal, but we have to stand up. So now we have uh, in front of us the most important title in the season by far, because of course to win you can win the Champions League playing good seven games. Just seven games you can win the Champions League. In the league, no, the league is is play a lot, a lot of games, and uh, we need five points. We need five points in six games, and the first option to take points is tomorrow, one of the toughest games we have. And we have to stand up and look forward and after two days off and focus Swansea, focus uh, uh, West Ham and every game thinking about the points we need to be champion. You, you've spoken in the past about the importance and, and how good Harry Kane is as a player. From a player's point of view, can you understand him wanting to claim the goal that was scored against Stoke? The goal against Stoke? The, the, he, he appealed to have the, go the goal as his goal rather than Christian Eriksen's goal. Are you aware of this? Bah, I don't know. I'm not concerned with that. It doesn't matter. Tottenham has scored, no? They did score, yeah, yeah. So. Whether he did or not. Pep, we're used to you being so animated on the touchline. Do, do you think you. It would probably have been better for your team to be on the touchline in the second half on. on Tuesday night? Do you think. My team is so good at playing like memory, so. They don't need. They don't need the manager to to play. Our football is so fantastic. They don't need my advices. Of course, it's better to be there. You have to do something. Of course, it's much better. I know that. But we didn't. We didn't. Of course, the first half uh, was much much better. The second half, we saw it immediately because we changed a little bit. It didn't work. But it was my decision in the half time. So it's not. It's not about. It's not about, uh, of course, they can play. They know exactly what they have to do. 
uh, because we were together for a long time, even in different ways we want to play, always adapting the opponents and the quality of our players, they can do it. But of course it's better the manager to be there, I cannot deny that. But w would, it, would it be better for you sometimes just to not react in the yeah. way that you did and yeah. you were winning at the time? Yeah, it will be better. Definitely will be better, but I am who I am. I am a human being, I have a passion, and I try to defend my team, my club. Because uh, when I see the people, they don't do what they have to do, I have to defend my team. You know, as I do for my club, because they deserve that they don't feel they are alone. And when I went there, it just take it out the players, because the players are were talking with the referees, they didn't want yellow card for them, get out. But in that moment, I said what I said, so it's a good goal. And I didn't want to talk to him, uh, and that was simple. He did enough to say send off, uh, he sent off. He told me, if you say that in the locker room, nothing happened. But in front of the spectator, it's happened. So, OK. OK, see, that is the difference, to talk in the locker room and say his goal in the opposite side in the, in the, on the pitch is not allowed, it's OK. Also, the referees talk with the players, and sometimes they show something he, the body language are not correct, so sometimes happen because even the referees are human beings. So everybody there, the tension, we want to win, we want to do that, we try, we saw how good we, we, we were doing and we scored a goal. It's different to go, you know, 2-0, 1-0, it's completely different. And because the time is over, it's finishing and you have to, to try to do that. But the referees, they are the bosses. If they decide send off, send off. I will accept the punishment for the UEFA. The next season are going to start without the manager there. So, and just in terms of your playing Tottenham, you, does that help in a way because it's a top team in a big, a big game in a big stadium to try and end this bad week, or doesn't it really matter who you play? Well, n n now we have to. We have uh, six games to play, six games left, 18 points to play, we need five points. And the next game is Tottenham, because the schedule is what it is, so it doesn't matter when is a top, top team, and we're going to, to take points, the first one, in after Swansea, and after West Ham, Huddersfield, Brighton, and, uh, and the last one in, so uh, in Southampton. So we need that point and try to win the, the most important title of the season. Uh, Pep, I know you have a top quality medical staff who can assess the fitness of players, but after the disappointment of these three games, are the players mentally in a frame of mind to, to just pick up where they left off in the league and start winning again? And, and also, is everybody fit and physically ready to play again against Tottenham? No, everybody, no. We have problems, we have injuries. So we are not a lot of players for the next game. But it's what it is during the season was fantastic in terms of everybody was almost ready except Mendy. But now we have a, a problem in, in terms of some players. But in terms of, of getting over the disappointment of these three games, yeah, but you think they're all ready again to, to be at the best? So I don't know. If you judge results, OK, judge results. But uh, even after lose, losing Anfield, how we play against United was top. After losing United, how we play against Liverpool was top. So during the season, it was like this. So these are magnificent players. So I'm so okay, I'm sad. We are sad. We went out for the Champions League. But I have to judge the way we did it. And I'm sorry. Because they know when I am angry and I'm not happy with what they are doing, I'm there. And I tell them, guys, that is not the, the way you have to do. But just they know I am there. Support them until the end, until the last, last moment. Because we know, everybody knows it's not over and everything in football can happen. Weeks ago, a month ago, say he's already champion, it's impossible, City lose the games. We lost three in a row. And we can lose again. And we can win again. But in that time, it's just forget we have done and think the next one. The situation is the same now. So we lost, OK. It's part of the game. All the teams lose games. So the, the three teams of the Bayern Munich, the three teams that are in semi-finals, the Champions League, one is 20 points. Rome is 20 points behind Juventus. Liverpool is 17 points behind us, plus one more game. 
And Madrid is 15 points behind Barcelona. So uh, I'm not going to say these three teams now, we are, they are failed the season. Whatever happened in the season, winning or losing, chapeau to my players. I deserve all my respect for what they have done, even in that, especially in the tough moments. You said you have some injuries, Pat. Could you could you tell us who and how bad? Aguero is injured. He was injured uh, before the game, but make a huge effort to help us the 10, 15 minutes. That's why he could not play from the beginning, because the people talk a lot about not not knowing exactly what happened before the game. So we, he was not ready. John Stone is not ready. Um, Fernandinho is suspended. Uh, Mendes out. Uh, we have 30, 40 players we have for the next game. Plus the kids. After everything that's happened this season, um, your team has taken a lot of criticism over the last week. Does that anger you? It's, it's the same compar it's comparison when the big, big, big wars when we won 18 games in a row. When the, you, you decide 18 games in a row winning and the people say a lot of things, they are over exaggerating and sometimes it's the same level when you lose the games. But I can discuss the criticisms and just see which one. If you offer you tell me I criticize you I criticize you for that, I will respond to you. But I don't know which criticism was this to to for lose a game. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. For the other I can give you an argument and every argument and my decisions in Anfield and my decisions in in a in uh, United and, and Liverpool here, all of them. But of course, here is the results. And after that, you judge results, I try to judge the intentions. Andy. <coughs> yeah. Hi, Just on Sergio, what, what exactly is the situation there? And is he available this weekend? I said he's not ready. When when do you expect him to be? Uh, I don't know. He had a problem. We cannot forget was the two months injured, okay? And uh, and he make a huge effort because after the action from Ashley Young against United, his problems in the knee. It was a, uh, it was, you know, he could not training. Just make a boxes and. And uh, he played the last 10, 15, 20 minutes. And uh, after the game, said, I cannot run. I cannot run. I have a lot of pain. I cannot run. And of course, for that game, I don't know if Swansea will be ready. So hopefully, you know, for the last games, if we need him, and especially for his World Cup. Hi, Pep. Uh, we know you've been analysing performances rather than, than just results. <clears throat> what, what do you want to see in response from your team for this weekend after three bad? Results. Try to to be who we were during the season, and uh, and thinking we need five points. So we are 13 points in front plus goal difference. But we deserve to be there. We did it up. And normally during the season, what happened? In, because we could not forget, we lost one game in the Premier League. With the second game against Liverpool, we lost. Of course, the, after one one, the second minute we play with five. Four or five people in front, just one holding midfielder like Kevin De Bruyne. In that situation, you can happen, you can lose the game, but it's not, you know, if you need to draw that game, maybe we draw that game. But in the last, I think, eight or nine games, uh, we lost one in the Premier League. So we won the last five in a row, except the United. So the result was good. So it's just thinking about what, again, what the, the, the strength points from Tottenham and try to get points to win the game and and giving our hands, you know, we need two games. And as soon as possible, we'll win the first one, the second one will be easier. And you have to try to, you know, to try to win the first one. Is it a case then of just trying, trying to get out of this rut that the team's in at the minute? Of course, in the bar results, the best way. So one of the success we had in that season is when we need to drop points. The second one always, we want to make four or five next games winning, 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 winning. And that's why we are there. So all the other contenders, after one game lose, maybe we would have another one, another one. And we didn't do that. That is the first time in different competitions. But in the Premier League, maybe tomorrow will be the first day, first time in this season where we are not able to get good, good results in a row. We are going to see. 
that's why. But after that, we we'll have seven days to, to you know, to prepare the Swansea game. They play five in the back. What do you have to do to attack them? West Ham is going to play five in the back. What do you have to do to attack them? And we are going to prepare our games in that sense. That's what you have to do.